Hello everybody and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Today what I have for you is the deck that got me Cassandra Nova's ultimate variant. Uh, beat the Deadpool's Diner with it. I think this deck is super super good for a lot of reasons. I genuinely think it, like at least one of the cards in this deck is going to get nerfed at some point. I would be really surprised if in a month every card in here is the same text box. Uh, like Darkhawk is just an amazing card that's really good against Aeroshimp specifically, really good in a lot of matchups. Same with Korg and Black Widow. Just making your opponent's draws less consistent is immaculate, like really, really useful. In so many matchups, like just generically, that's really powerful. Cassandra Nova synergizes really well with those cards, and she's also just a really good feed three drop that has like very good uh, location variants. Like there's a lot of locations that make Cassandra Nova really good and really bad for your opponent. Not only does she become like a 3-7, a 3-6 in this deck, but you also got to think she's stealing stats from your opponent's deck. So every time your opponent plays a weakened card, uh, you just gained stats. You know what I mean? Like you just got an additional stat. So like if she's a 3-7 and your opponent plays two cards that had their stats reduced, she's a 3-9 suddenly. You know what I mean? Like that's that's just kind of the scope you're working with with her, which is really cool. Um, I think this deck is sick. I really, really enjoyed it. It gets me infinite tickets. It beat Deadpool's Diner for me. And like like literally while I was in the car driving back from uh driving back to Massachusetts. So I just got it with like, you know, public transportation. I wasn't even playing at home, uh, which was really cool. I hope you guys enjoy. This takes a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Huge thank you to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. Uh, they sent me some of their shirts. I've started wearing their shirts all the time. Uh, link in my bio if you want to get one for yourself. They're 10% off through my code. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. That's the last card of the talk, right? Then I have... Um... You know, Mystique. Oh, stuff. Snap. We're both able to compete for here, so this is going to be interesting. Doing a lot. That one can be pretty good. Sometimes. Hopefully they're not like a brood deck or something. I wouldn't be surprised if you told me they were Patriot. They kind of look like a Patriot player. I mean, we're both filling, so I don't think there's much sense in snapping. I believe they're just locked in here. I'm not. No, they have kitty. There's no way. Yeah. I can definitely win left. Um, just because I have, like, Iron Man and stuff. I want priority on the last turn, I think, is the biggest thing. But honestly, I feel like this is my line. How much energy will I have next turn? I'll have 9, right? Plus, I'll have 10 from this. So I kind of actually have to play Iron Man. Do I just play Iron Man this turn? Do I have priority? I kind of think I do. And then am I going to want Hawk or Iron Man? I think I want Hawk in this particular instance. I think I'm willing to raise here. Eliath is just so good. Yeah, I think this is a fine game to make it the last one. Are they also an Iron Man gamer? That would make it a little bit awkward, but we'll see. I think double Hawk left is gonna win the game frequently. I am Iron Man.
Do I just pitch? Do I just pitch here, actually? Or I, I kind of have to play for all three, I guess. They'll have to commit a lot of resources to win left. Oh wow, so are they winning left and I'm gonna lose right? That sucks. I might just lose the 50-50 then. So it's a tie there. I win. Victory. Okay. That was really good. Hey man, I'm Cook. I mean, they can't really utilize this well, right? Snap. His next turn, I just get to Mystique if I want to. They don't have tech cards. Now I'm just trying to decide if this is a Iron Man or a, Mist or a Dark Hawk I want. I think it's Iron Man. I think I just want to play for two locations. Like these two. Like I can just avoid Bishop, kind of. That's a lot of stats I'm avoiding. Next one I want to play two cards, so I'm going to pass. I think I don't need to play. I could double Iron Man left. That could be a line, genuinely. I kind of have to play this, though. It's fine. No, I guess if I want to double spell next turn, I want to do this. This is only one less stat, too. It does reduce stats from their deck, though, which is notable. I guess it's fine. Yeah. I think it's just play Iron Man here and then make them guess where I'm playing Iron Man on the last turn. There it goes. I am Iron Man. Black Swan, yep. Beast. So. I mean, this is just 30 here. So they go. How big does the, their hit my gift? If I do this, demon and demon is plus 12, so they go to 14. Middle. Uh, then their hit monkey is plus three, plus four is seven. And then, so seven plus 12 is 19. So they're at uh, 21, 23. 
25, 27, 29. I actually don't think they can beat me middle doing this and this. Like, I'm counting Demon, Demon, Hitmonkey, and they only have six spaces. And then I'm adding uh, 14 on the left as well, which is kind of the same math. Yeah. Freaking yeah, man, opponent's playing so well. That's so tough. Oh, <laughs> uh, we want a pumper, man. Hmm. I might include this whole set. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about it. I feel like my opponent is playing like really, really well. Hold. Ah, uh, my kitty's stuck. Oh well, I guess. That's bad for them, actually. That's actually really good for me, huh? And I have a red Hulk. Oh, I'm gonna miss a second draw if I no matter what I play actually. This is getting here. But my Cassandra Nova is a lot bigger. Uh where I feel like this is pretty legit. That doesn't really matter. Kinda matters, honestly. A little bit. But... Oh geez, we're fighting we're fighting on that side. Like actually. Oh, we'll see. This is the most stats I can put here, right? They have priority. So let's say they go Titania plus Nico. So Titania's plus five. This is potentially plus six. So Titania's plus six, they go to eleven. So I'm neutral with a Titania and I'm still leading and then my Kitty Pride is bigger. Or I think I'm always winning here. Or are they just always pulling out? They are pulling out. Okay, that's fine. They're missing another draw though. And their Kitty Pride is getting one up with these. And my Red Hulk. I am Iron Man. Man, this goes so well here. It's actually. So options, I can do this and this. Am I just supposed to play for left? Five energy. So how many how many stats is this? I guess that's the better question. Uh, so I'm going plus six from Angela, plus another six. So I'm going plus nine times two, right? Is that correct? So I'm going to be at 9, plus another 9, plus another 3 is 12. So I'm going to be at 24 here. Alternatively, I could do this. It's actually just 12. Is 16 just enough on the left? I feel like 16 just might be enough. And they have to use all their energy. They'll probably use all their energy. Let's do it. Ah, no, did I make the wrong choice? No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. Okay. I panicked there for a second. I was like, oh no. Okay. Damn. Victory. So both, both lines won. I was thinking they were gonna like hit monkey. I don't know, maybe it's wrong. I thought they were gonna hit monkey middle, which might be incorrect. 
Uh, but I thought like that would be the only way they were ever winning middle on me. Because they're not playing for right, so I thought they have to play for both. But I guess if they have to play for these two, they always have to hit monkey left. Hey, that was wrong. I might have put too much up to chance there.